The upcoming bout between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul in November at ATT Stadium in Arlington, Texas is one of the most controversial in boxing's recent history. When 58-year-old Tyson steps into the ring, he will be a massive three decades older than his social media superstar opponent. Naturally, this has prompted concerns from many quarters over whether it is safe for the heavyweight icon to be competing. Those concerns only grew in late May, when Tyson was forced to withdraw from the originally scheduled date of the 20th of July after suffering issues with stomach ulcers on a flight from Miami to Los Angeles. The Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, TDLR, who are in charge of overseeing the Tyson vs. Paul bout, have long insisted that the health and well-being of the two participants is of the utmost importance to them, and that full checks would be carried out on both participants prior to the fight. When approving the original bout, the commission insisted that the fight be contested in 14-ounce gloves, as opposed to the 10-ounce gloves regularly used by professionals. The larger gloves are generally accepted to be safer, given that there is a greater surface area for the force of a blow to be spread out over. The length of the fight has also been modified from what is typically seen in big fights as Tyson and Paul will face off over 8, 2-minute rounds rather than 10, or even 12, 3-minute rounds. The fact still remains, though, that the bout is set to be a full professional contest, where knockouts are allowed. Per a report from World Boxing News. The TDLR have confirmed that they only intend to review Tyson's fitness to fight on the 14th of November. In other words, he will not see a doctor from the commission until 24 hours before the bout itself. Given the high profile nature of both the event and the unusual circumstance of having a man who is nearly 60 years old competing, it had been assumed by many that Tyson would be monitored well in advance of the fight taking place. The news also leaves organizers with a few potential headaches. Speaking last week, Paul insisted, per DAZN, that there was no replacement lined up for Tyson if he should be unable to fight, partially because the problem child is so confident that Iron Mike will make the bout as scheduled. Options available to regulators if they are unhappy with Tyson's physical state include downgrading the content from a professional fight to an exhibition as well as potentially scrapping the bout altogether, with upwards of 50,000 fans expected to attend the live event, and millions planning to watch it on Netflix, that outcome would be a disaster for all involved.